Wait, who are you? <laughs> Let's talk about sleep. The thing that I'm not getting enough of. My sleep schedule has been completely f***ed up. It seems like every time I set a bedtime, it just uh, gets pushed a little bit further and further. I keep doing that until 4 a.m. and then subsequently keep destroying my sleep schedule. When you don't get enough sleep, it's called sleep deprivation. So what does sleep deprivation actually do to you? Well, as always, I did some research and found some pretty f things that it does to your body. So brace yourself because this is probably gonna seem like a personal attack to you. <laughs> Most of us are guilty of a late night binge watching session or just scrolling aimlessly through our phone to numb ourselves from the reality of life. But maybe you're staying up too late because of work or school, or you just can't seem to get through the night without your sleep being interrupted. A few things that I found was that the CDC recommended at least seven hours of sleep for an adult every single night. However, one in three adults are not getting the recommended amount of sleep. Staying up late happens from time to time, and having your sleep interrupted now and then is just a pain in the ass. But when these things happen consistently, you run a risk of sleep deprivation. And a serious lack of sleep can screw you up in all kinds of ways. It can affect your performance, overall health, and your basic ability to function. We're talking mood swings, fatigue, weight gain, difficulty remembering things, and even a reduced sex drive. Long term, sleep deprivation can cause serious mental and physical health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, anxiety, depression, obesity, and even suicidal thoughts. It's often being linked to also shorten your lifespan. Aside from the health implications, it can also mess with your emotions. But one of the most interesting things that I found was that your brain begins to have a difficult time controlling cognitive and emotional regulation. Without enough sleep, it's hard for your brain to suppress unpleasant memories or unwanted thoughts. These thoughts and memories will show up more frequently and can become harder to manage the more sleep deprived that you are. In our day-to-day -day lives, of course, we face triggers that momentarily bring a memory of something emotional or even traumatic. These reminders happen whether we want them to or not. So when that happens, our brain has to decide what to do with it. What that means is whenever this thought or memory presents itself, your brain has to make a choice. Do I suppress this or do I not? <laughs> So for example, you may be scrolling through social media and see a friend's post about their grandmother passing away, and that's going to cause you to think about your grandmother passing away, even if it's just for a moment. Or let's say you're driving along and see another car speeding down the street and suddenly think about a recent car crash that you were in. And of course, if you hop on Twitter or any social media at this point, I'm sure you're going to find something that's going to piss you off. Especially nowadays with COVID on every single corner of the internet, on every article, every headline, you might be taken back to a time where you had a serious illness or somebody close to you was also affected by it. Now for a person who has self-control and is not sleep deprived, this is just a moment. The thought presents itself and then it disappears. That's what a normal, healthy, well-rested brain does. Now for people who are sleep deprived, that moment or memory might continue to pop up even for days. The side effects of sleep deprivation are even scarier if you have a psychiatric condition. For example, for those who are suffering from conditions like schizophrenia, depression, or PTSD, it could trigger something even greater in the mind, such as a panic attack or a psychotic episode. So you really can go crazy from a lack of sleep. Not getting enough sleep becomes some sort of a ping pong match. The body and the brain are bouncing back and forth between unwanted thoughts and lack of sleep. One issue triggering the other in a never ending cycle. However, that cycle can be broken only by a significant change in the amount of sleep that someone receives. So without the recovery time that sleep provides, your brain can't be expected to do its job properly. In a study led by the University of York, participants were tested on their ability to suppress intrusive thoughts and memories when they were sleep deprived or well rested. The sleep deprived group suffered from an increase in unwanted thoughts by nearly 50% in comparison to their well rested counterparts. The study suggested that the lack of sleep had a considerable negative effect on the ability to keep unwanted thoughts and memories out. In the study, they took about 60 people that were fairly healthy and had them associate images of faces paired with either an emotionally negative scene, like a war zone, or an emotionally neutral scene, like a cityscape. The next morning, the participants were shown the faces and asked to suppress and ignore the emotionally negative scene that it was paired up with. 
The group that had a good night of sleep seemed to easily brush off the unwanted thoughts and emotionally charged negative and neutral scenes. They even showed a reduced sweat response when showed the negative scenes. Taking it a step even further, the well-rested group also began to view the emotionally negative scenes a little bit more positively after the suppression task. For the group that experienced a night of total sleep deprivation, however, the intrusion of unwanted memories and thoughts had remained consistently high and also experienced no positive changes in their response. Dr. Scott Kearney from the Department of Psychology at the University of York stated, this study offers an important insight on the impact of sleep on mental health. He then explains that aside from PTSD and depression, studies like these might help further understand disorders linked to sleep disturbances, such as OCD and schizophrenia. The study also suggests that the onset of intrusive thoughts and emotional disturbances following bouts of poor sleep could create a vicious cycle, whereby upsetting the intrusions and emotional distress exacerbates sleep problems, inhibiting the sleep needed to support recovery. This basically means that if you're sleep deprived, it's gonna cause all these negative thoughts and emotions to pour in, which is then gonna lead you to less sleep because you're gonna be emotionally distressed, which then leads to even less sleep, so on and so forth. Oh my God, it's 10.20. It's, uh, it's a little too late for my old ass. You see that? Again, this is just one study, but I mean, I've seen it true for my life and I'm pretty sure some of you watching can relate to it. So what do we do? For all of us who are sleep deprived and have no self-control, <laughs> well, the answer is pretty simple. Get off your phone and go to sleep. <laughs>